Every two days in Australia, a construction worker kills himself. Suicide is a leading cause of death in Australians aged between 25 and 44, and it affects three times more men than women. But what do you do about mental health in an industry where blokes don't talk about that stuff? The idea of lying on a couch and pouring out your troubles is a bit of a cliché. Psychology has come a long way since the 90s. Medicare pays for 2 million Australians to see a mental health practitioner every year. Men are more likely to suffer from depression or anxiety, but less likely to talk to someone about it. Online treatments are available for people who can't or won't see someone face to face. Swinburne University is trialling an online program for obsessive compulsive disorder and found it three times more effective than medication. Still, one in 10 Australians will try using antidepressants during their lives. Drugs are only really effective for about one in three depressed people. So antidepressants are usually prescribed with therapy, not instead of it. And some therapies have been shown to be even more effective than antidepressants. Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, or CBT, is a kind of treatment where a patient learns to interrupt automatic thoughts that come up in stressful situations. Although it's been shown to be about as effective as drugs, the benefits of CBT last longer than those of antidepressants. Most medication is only effective as long as you keep taking it, but the effects of CBT can last for up to two years after treatment. Mindfulness training, which originated in Buddhism, is now being taught as a technique in Western psychology. People learn to shift the way they pay attention to negative emotions and thoughts. In clinical trials, men who use mindfulness techniques experience less depression and anxiety, and more satisfaction, creativity and well-being. In one study of corporate workers, people with mindfulness training were even more immune to the flu. For men with depression and anxiety, it's never been this easy to get treatment. Education programs at construction sites, government subsidies and organisations such as Beyond Blue are all out to make mental health a subject men do talk about. A review of 198 clinical trials found that people were better off if they got some kind of treatment than if they didn't talk to anyone. So the bottom line is encouraging your mates to get help is more than just a nice idea. It's a scientifically proven way to bring down the suicide rate.